This video is to show what is the cause of power steering pump loss on pressure and the reason why the steering wheel is too hard to turn. We have two defective pumps. The first one is having a problem with the fuel pump and the other pump is having a problem with steering pump. Now take out the defective fuel pump from a good steering pump to complete the rebuild of one steering pump. This is a good steering pump. In this case, we need to take the good fuel pump from the defective steering pump. Remember that you can just replace the fuel pump if the steering pump is having a good output pressure. Now, we will proceed to dismantle the fuel pump and the steering pump to show what common causes of a steering pump loss of pressure. We can easily identify that the steering pump is defective, but we have to know what is the exact cause why the steering pump going to lose pressure. This is the pump vein. We always think that the defective pump vein is the reason why the steering pump comes to lose on pressure. But the vein of the pump is not always the cause of loss of pressure unless it is broken or scratched on the surface. Now we will show the steering pump how it works. These are all the parts inside the steering pump. This is a steering sliding vane pump. As shown on the screen, the pump rotor turns, depending on the speed of the engine. If the engine runs at the idle stage, the steering pump produces an output pressure, enough to supply the pressure needs for the steering cylinder. This is a pressure relief valve piston.
This hole is a suction line connected to the inlet pipe. Check the position of the relief valve. Take a closer look. This small hole is connected to the high pressure outlet pipe. Let's take a look. This is the flow of the steering oil inside the steering pump while the engine is at the idle stage. Take a closer look. Because the work of the relief valve is to protect the system from overpressure. As we close the outlet pressure pipe, the outlet oil pressure is going high and push back the relief valve piston to find a way to release the pressure. While the relief valve is in the open position, the oil flow returns to the suction. And this is the use of the small hole to release the oil at the back of the relief valve piston because without this small hole, the relief valve piston will not able to move. This is how the relief valve works in the system. Now I will show you a defective steering pump which is lost on pressure. And now, why does the steering pump lose pressure? And not the vein is a common defect of the steering pump. When we have a tight steering wheel, don't just replace the steering pump. The first thing to do is check the relief valve. Because the relief valve is the common cause why the steering pump lose on pressure. When there is a leak on a relief valve piston, then you will lose your steering pump pressure. If you have a good relief valve piston, then proceed to the steering cylinder and check for the internal leak. It may be leaked on the piston seal. Let's take a look. What happened to the steering pump if you have leaked on the relief valve piston? The oil pressure will pass on the side of the relief valve, and the oil going back to the suction, circulating continues inside the pump. In this case, the outlet pressure of the pump will not going to build up, and the steering wheel will become hard when it turns. Now we proceed to dismantle the fuel pump to see what parts are inside. This is the relief valve spring. This type of fuel pump is a sliding vane pump. This is the relief valve rod. The safety relief valve is to protect the fuel pump against overpressure. This is how a fuel relief valve work in the fuel pump. The safety relief valve is mounted on the outlet pressure pipe of the pump. When outlet pressure goes high, the pressure will push the valve to open. While the relief valve is in the open position, the outlet pressure will not build up. We will check the other type of fuel pump. This fuel pump is used for Mercedes Actors 5050. This is a safety overpressure relief valve. When the relief valve is in the open position, the fuel outlet pressure will be released into this hole, and this hole is going to the suction of the gear pump. This is a gear type fuel pump. 